everyone, my name is Aola White and I am a reference librarian at the Newark Public Library. I'm here today to bring you a book, or to read to you a book called Rafiki. You can see the illustration. And it is written and illustrated by Nola Langner. The dedication says, for Belinda, with special thanks to my mother, Elsie Spiero, for her cheerful assistance with the scissors work. And one of the, my favorite things about this book, I've had this since I was very little, is that there's some wonderful artwork with collage and with painting and things like that. So I hope that you like it. Once again, it was morning in Africa. The sun was orange and Rafiki walked into the jungle. Once again, I'll show you the image. See a beautiful orange sun and an acacia tree. That's very important. And a little hut. We'll see who lives in that hut soon. As always, the animals woke up in their big, dirty house. Every morning, it was the same. The ostrich coughed in the dusty air. The warthog hid behind the torn curtains. The rhino stamped on the sandy rug. The stork washed in the messy sink. The baboon looked for a clean dish. The crocodile sat near the cold stove, thinking about fish. And the lion, who was king, yawned. So now you can see who lives in the house. They're all in these big windows, and I think it's cutest that the Crocodile is thinking about the fish. I really like that. But as you can see, everybody is kind of just going about their day, even though their house is very dirty and nobody's really taking any responsibility. Every morning, the animals went to the acacia tree and make their plans for the day. Try to make their plans for the day. It was always the same. Jumbo, they said. In Africa, Jumbo means hello. And I want to interject that it's not just all of Africa, that's specifically in Swahili, which is a language in Eastern Africa. Um, then the lion yawned and told them what to do. Every day he said the same thing. Whereas I am king, and kings know best, I hereby proclaim that here and after it is unlawful for animals to do housework. Furthermore, I here, here and under proclaim that only girls may do housework in my kingdom, etc., etc. The lion always said etc. because he liked the sound. After that, he always fell asleep. Some kings need a lot of rest. The animals always believed the lion. They did what he said, even though their house got dirtier day after day. Kings know best, they said, even though their king was usually asleep. Every day, the animals told about the things they would do. Every day, the animals told about the things they would do. It was always the same. And I'll show this picture. This is the acacia tree we saw earlier on and all the animals are gathering here and in the corner we see Rafiki. So Rafiki hasn't met the animals yet but she'll be interacting with them soon. The ostrich spoke first. I will go to the plains and run like the wind. I have such beautiful strong legs. I am shy, whispered the warthog, so I will go and hide in the rocks. These are the things that the animals love to do best. So the ostrich, as you can see, has the long, strong legs and likes to run in the fields. And Rafiki likes to do that too, you can see. Um, the warthog is a little afraid, so he's going to hide between different kinds of rocks. Whereas Rafiki likes to stand on top of the rocks. The rhino roared. I am powerful and large. I think I need to knock down a tree. Then came the stork. 
I will spread my huge wings and fly up to the clouds. Maybe today I will see something wonderful down on the ground. He said that every day, but he never saw anything. I will leap into the trees, yelled the baboon. I will make a lot of noise. Okay, so here's the rhino. You can see that he's looking around to find a tree to knock down and see how he's lowering his head. That's what they do before they charge. And the stork is up in the sky and the baboon is getting ready to throw lots of things. The crocodile smiled a big sharp smile. I am going to the river to catch a fish. You know, we saw that earlier he was thinking about the fish, but that's a, the river is a place where he can actually get them. And Rafiki is sailing on this river, thinking about it at least. And as always, the lion woke up. Today, he said, I think I will take a nap. That is what he said every day. There's, there's not anything wrong with taking a nap every day. It gets you really refreshed. I think the issue is just that everybody's, you know, the king has a lot of responsibility, so he's got to take some responsibility. The animals left the acacia tree. Quaheri, they said. Quaheri means goodbye. The stork spread his huge wings and flew up to the clouds. He looked for something wonderful down on the ground. Suddenly, he stopped flying. Amazing, he said, because today he found something. He flew down closer and there was a little girl. It was Rafiki. The stork smiled at her. Jumbo, little girl, are you lost? I should say not, said the little girl. I am looking for a good place to build my house. So here's the stork talking to the little girl whose name is Rafiki, and you see that she's very prepared. She's got her hammer, she's got her saw, she's ready to get to work. The stork called the animals together. They took the little girl home. Jumbo, little girl, they said. Are you lost? Of course not said the little girl. I'm looking for a good place to build my house. So she's, the stork let her ride on, on his back and she's going to meet all the other animals and they're kind of not really sure why she's there because they've never seen her before. The animals laughed for a long time. Little girls don't build houses, they said. And here they all are looking right at her. And she's looking up at them. She's looking them in the eye and she's very determined, but they're not really sure what she's doing and they don't believe that she can do it. So let's see what happens. Oh, said Rafiki, what do little girls do? They dust, said the ostrich like this. He stretched his beautiful, strong legs and dusted the house. They sew, said the warthog, like this. He hid behind the curtain and mended all the holes. What little girls really do best is sweep, said the rhino. He snorted all the sand into one pile. And don't forget cleaning sinks, said the stork as he wiped. Little girls love that. Little girl, said the baboon as he scrubbed, always wash dishes. And they know how to cook, said the crocodile. crocodile. He lit the stove and cooked some fish. So this is what they're all doing as they're showing uh, Rafiki what little girls do or what they think little girls do. So I think it's funny that the lion said that they shouldn't be doing any cleaning, but they're all doing cleaning. But they think that that's what uh, Rafiki should do, but she's over here cutting some logs for her house that she wants to build. And I also want to go back and look at what the house looked like before, just so that we can remember. So, as you can see, it was dusty, 
there was a hole in the curtain, the stove was cold, there was, um, there was dirt on the floor, but now they're really making changes just because they're trying to show Rafiki what, what she should be doing. The house was clean and the animals were tired. The animals looked at the little girl to see which job she would do first. Rafiki smiled, but she didn't speak. Please, little girl, begged the baboon. If you work for us, you can come to all our birthday parties. Please, little girl, cried the crocodile. Clean our house and we'll be your best friends. Now it was Rafiki's turn to laugh. She laughed for a long time. You just did all that work by yourself, she said. The animals were so surprised. Oh my goodness, said the stork. What will the lion say? They looked at the lion. Luckily, he was still asleep. So they broke the rules by cleaning the house, but they really wanted a clean house, so it's not a bad thing, and, he, and the king didn't notice. Um, and Rafiki has um, made quick work of those logs, and so now they're into nice wooden planks, um, which will be very good for building a house. Let's tell him we did it, yelled the rhino. Maybe we should tell him in the morning, whispered the warthog. Maybe kings don't know best, said the stork. He spoke very quietly. By now it was night. It was time for the animals to go to bed. Quaheri, little girl, they said. Quaheri also means good night. Quaheri, everyone, said Rafiki. So they're, you know, trying to figure out how they're going to approach the king to tell them that to tell him that they clean the house, which they weren't supposed to do. And Rafiki's um, using the planks that she cut. Um, she's building a, she's trying to build her house under the acacia tree. All that night, while the animals slept, Rafiki was very busy. She was talk she was working while they were talking and she's gonna work even more. So she's um, she's hammering, she's sawing, she's putting different materials together so it's not just wood, it's also um, these rocks. She's um, building door frames. She's got grass, which she'll probably use to make the roof. And it looks like she's kind of plastering over the wall here. She's very hard at work and she knows a lot about construction. When it was morning, the animals woke up as usual. The sun was orange as usual. Rafiki was still there, but somehow everything was different. There was no dust. The ostrich didn't cough. No more holes. The warthog could hide. There was no sand when the rhino stamped on the rug. The stork had a clean sink. The baboon found a dish for breakfast. The crocodile cooked some more fish. And the lion, of course, still yawned. So see, now they have, they're able to enjoy um, the benefit of all that hard work they did. So everybody looks really happy. So then he looked around and by he it means the lion. Very nice, he said. Who cleaned everything up here? Was a little girl here? Well, not exactly, said the stork looking out the window. Well. To tell the truth, snorted the rhino, it was us. The lion opened his mouth wide. Then he roared. I like it, I like it, he shouted. But you've told us not to, croaked the crocodile. Don't believe everything you're told, said the lion. Some kings never like to admit that they're wrong. <laughs> So there, they have their nice little home that has, that's all clean. And the lion actually likes that everything's clean too. So sometimes 
it's one is there's this phrase that sometimes it's better to ask for ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission so they did something that they knew was right but um they did they do that it was technically against the rules but it all turned out right in the end the animals were happy with my strong legs said the ostrich i could do this every day we all could they said every day let's go tell the little girl yelled the baboon the animals went over to the acacia tree but today the acacia tree was different too Rafiki's house was under it, and Rafiki was inside. Jumbo, said the stork, very amazed. I guess little girls do build houses after all. Jumbo, said Rafiki, they certainly do. Zurisana, said all the animals, they certainly do. In Swahili, Zurisana means wonderful. So look at the finished house. She did that all in one night. She she cut down the materials, she laid all the framework and the foundation, and she built her own house all by herself. And the animals are talking to her about it, they're all gathered around, and they realize that they can do things that they didn't think they could do as well. So they clean the house and they realize that it's best to do it all together, because nobody, no one person is responsible for the whole house, they all have their own part. The stork put one large wing around Rafiki. By the way, little girl, he said, what is your name? My name, she said, is Rafiki. Zurisana, the animal said, because in Swahili, in Africa, Rafiki means friend. So there they all are together. And she taught them that they could do more than they thought. And they realized she could do more than they thought, so they're going to keep learning from each other and teaching each other things, and they're all friends. Thank you so much for sharing Rafiki with me, and I hope you have a lovely day.